Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 14. Whoa, oh, oh. Da, 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 oh, oh. Da, 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 oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Making our Christmas memories. So, let's just talk about what happened yesterday. If the quality is different, it's because this is not my camera. This is a iPhone that I am currently filming on. Not my iPhone. Here's my phone. Right here. My phone. She's good. This is our company phone. Thankfully, my husband was gracious enough to let me borrow our company phone until um, my camera gets fixed. Yesterday, I broke my camera. Here is my my baby. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how I cried, how I was so upset, how I'm still upset, how I cannot believe I did this. Here is my beautiful little camera, my Canon, who my husband bought this for me as a Christmas present for my YouTube channel. When I started my YouTube channel, I started on my phone. Um, it's been a very long time since I filmed on a cell phone, so uh, bear with me here because the tripod is different, the angles are going to be different. I don't even know if I'm looking at y'all or not. Like, I'm trying to look at the camera and not the screen. Um, so I apologize. Like, I. I don't even know. I was filming for y'all yesterday. We were in the living room, we were cleaning. I had just got the living room clean and I put Joe Dallas down and I had him sitting in the high chair here in this doorway. And whenever I went to go move the high chair back to the kitchen, my camera tripod, I guess, was intertwined with the high chair. And when I, my camera was still on, now, as of now, I have not looked back at this footage, so I don't remember if it was still recording or not. We will find out when I go to edit this, um, when I go to edit the video, either sometime this evening or tomorrow morning, but <sighs> when I went to go move back, my camera was still on, so when it's on, it looks like this, the lens is out, um, and it, the tripod fell and the camera fell just like this. And here's my viewfinder. Um, with my vlogging camera, my viewfinder is at the top here. Um, and it flips down. Love this camera. This is the best Christmas present ever. When it fell like this, I immediately knew that my camera would be messed up. When I picked the tripod up, my screen was like blurred. It was still on, but my uh, screen was like completely blurred. You couldn't see anything. So I turned it off. And when I did, this part would not go back and it made the worst noise ever. Now I'm not gonna do the noise for y'all. It still makes that noise um, because I don't wanna mess it up. I don't wanna mess up the electronics in it. What happened was is the lens got jammed down on one side and so it was completely jammed down and um I was like oh no now I'm gonna have to get my camera repaired. I was so discouraged. I called Houston like a million times. He wouldn't answer the phone of course and I was just like I can't believe I did this like it, as if Vlogmas just can't keep getting more interesting. Vlogmas has been something, y'all. It's been a whirlwind. I thought things were finally going to be back to normal and then this happened. Okay, so I am calling around everywhere. Every electronic place there is in our town or like the nearest town outside of where we live to see if anybody can fix my camera. There is literally no one. I call Best Buy, but we did not buy my camera at Best Buy. So, because we didn't buy it there, there was no, like, their protection plan or something. You have to have that as well. They would not repair my camera just because I did not buy it there. I called all these other places. Nobody works on cameras. The nearest place to us that can fix my camera is almost two hours away. I called this last place 
but, um, and they were like, no, we can't fix it, but we think we know somebody who might be able to, um, here's their number. Well, of course they already closed because it was already evening time. They didn't open until eight o'clock this morning. I think it was about nine o'clock. I call over there this morning and they're like, oh, sorry, we don't do cameras. That was the last local place. Now we are going to take the lovely trip to the a two hour trip to get my camera fixed at this camera place. That is how, how much YouTube I guess means to me. Like that is how dedicated I am and how much like I do have a passion for this and how much I love it that me and Houston and Joe Dallas will be taking a two hour trip to go get my camera fixed and to bring it home the same day. So it's probably gonna end up being like a five hour journey and you best believe y'all will be going with us because it's gonna be very soon like probably the end of this week to get this camera fixed thankfully i was looking up youtube videos because i was like well if this one side's just jammed you know maybe i can just pull it out like pull it out hard enough and fix it so i pulled it and when i did it unloosened and like i said this is completely different so i don't know oh perfect it worked it unloosened everything, like the shutter things and all that. Um, trying to keep it to where y'all can see. See that? So now all of these are loose, but you can see down in here, maybe. I don't, like I said, I'm not used to a phone. It's been a long time. Anywho, there is like screws all down in here. So I can see how they're gonna fix it. I do, let me get this thing back, focus back, there we go. Um, I see how they're gonna be able to fix this and I'm just glad that it is gonna be able to be fixed. Um, it's, uh, the glass in it didn't bust, like the actual, like, you know, glass part in there didn't bust, none of that. Literally is just this issue. So this is replaceable, they're gonna fix it for us, they'll fix it on site, it will be repaired. Like I said, hopefully we're going to go at the end of this week to get it fixed. I, I just, I'm upset. I know accidents happen and it, it happened and uh, there's nothing I can do about it now except get it fixed. I just hate that it happened because especially during Vlogmas when I'm filming every single day, if it would have happened like on a normal day and you know, and then I got to thinking about this, I was like, you know, this would have happened like before I started Vlogmas, before I started like really, I mean, I've always focused on YouTube, but not as much as I could. And like before I really started like really focusing on it and everything, I would have used this as an excuse not to film. I would not have been like, oh, Houston, can I borrow the company phone to film? Because my, my cell phone doesn't have enough storage to film. There is no way that I would be able to film on my phone because I have so many pictures of my son. I have so many like videos of him. Like I have no storage. I've got so many apps of, you know, just business apps and um, like all kinds of things. Like I just don't have the store adequate storage to film on my cell phone. So thankfully our company phone has like nothing on it. I'm very thankful that he's allowing me to use that, but I definitely would have used this as an excuse. So it really opened my eyes that you know the old me would have used this as an excuse to take a break and not film until my camera was fully fixed which could have been you know who knows how long you know we may have waited a whole week to not even get my camera fixed um and then once i got it fixed who knows if i would have picked it back up you know immediately so i think that's the change that i was talking about in vlogmas day uh 12 if you haven't watched that yet i had a little heart to heart with y'all about how i have grown through vlogmas how my mindset has changed how my routine like having the structure and everything how it makes me feel better and everything else and i think that this definitely was an eye-opener of you know what i'm so determined to do this like i am so determined to to pour my heart into the to youtube right now and uh, hopefully you know continue it as my career um, I've never talked about the career side of YouTube um, before with y'all. I've never even mentioned it, but you know, I do receive a paycheck from YouTube um, on a monthly basis. 
And, you know, some of you may know that if you understand how YouTube works. And there may be some of you that had no idea. But because of y'all, because you watch me, because you are subscribed to me um, and everything, I do receive a paycheck from YouTube every month. And um, that's how I get to work with these awesome brands. That's how um, we were able to pay off some medical bills. I paid off my whole labor and delivery bill uh, from having Joe Dallas because of YouTube. And without you guys, uh, that would not have been possible. And this year, especially, my YouTube has grown so much with just the business side of my YouTube uh, with brands. I had my biggest brand deal uh, this year, and that brand deal is what allowed us to pay off um, a medical bill. And it's all because of y'all that I get to do this and that this is my career. I never thought that when I started my YouTube channel that it would become a career for me. Um, you know, you always dream and pray and hope that when you start, you know, an influencing journey that it becomes, you know, um, a career for you and it doesn't happen for everybody. And I, but I think that everybody is capable and, you know, you have to, you have to really work at it. It's work. It doesn't come easy and, and slow growth is okay. You know, I grew very slowly and um, I'm still growing slowly. I didn't meet my goal this year. My goal this year was to get to 5,000 subscribers and that didn't happen. I don't know if it's gonna happen in the next, like what do we have left, like two to three weeks left of this year. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but um, if it does, that would be awesome. But if it doesn't, you know, then that's, you know, a continue, it's gonna roll over into 2024. That's my goal, to reach 5,000 subscribers. I'm very close to it, but, um, you know, anything can happen. And so I definitely just thank you guys for all of your love and support, and especially th through Vlogmas. Um, it means so much to me. Reading your comments and knowing, like, that y'all were praying for us. Now that I've figured some things out, like, you've been with me through pregnancy and becoming a new mama and just this new season of life and um, all of that. And it just makes me so happy. And like I said in Vlogmas Day 12, I'm just proud of myself of how much I've grown. And I'm really excited to see where 2024 takes us. But, um, uh, I don't know how we got onto that bandwagon of my camera <laughs> being broken to that, but I just wanted to know that I do appreciate you guys so much and you have no idea because y'all, a whole new world has been opened up for me and my husband and, um, it makes me happy to know that I can still, um, I can still give back. Like, even though I'm a stay at home mom, like I can still help out in areas and even if I've never made an income from YouTube um, you know my work here is just as a, as important without an income but knowing that we do have an income from this it um, has opened many doors and this allows a little bit more freedom that we wouldn't have before. That's my whole spill about my camera. Uh, I don't know how long this intro is going to be, but you know, sometimes we just need to address things. And so here we are. Uh, welcome to Vlogmas Day uh, 14. We are <laughs> doing the thing. So if you watched my um, <laughs> couples Q&A video, uh, if y'all don't remember when Houston said that I was a huge procrastinator, this is what Houston is talking about by a huge procrastinator. So this is what I have to go through today uh, for our uh, 2023 taxes. Um, this is all medical, YouTube, um, house stuff, um, credit cards, um, the whole shebang. So, um, this is what I'm going to be working on for the next few hours. And, uh, thankfully, again, my husband is just so gracious. Uh, he has this, it's a tablet, um, it like disconnects. So it's a tablet, uh, laptop thingy. This is also his and, uh, he's allowing me to use this today, um, and tomorrow so I can go through all this paperwork. I'm also really hoping that this little one is gonna go down for a nap because it is 
uh, currently 2.15. So uh, he should be going down for his long winter's nap here soon. Usually about three o'clock is when he's been doing it, about three to five. So I'm hoping, or sometimes even close to six o'clock uh, is when he wakes up. So I'm hoping that he will go down for a nap here soon. So that way I can have um, a few hours to really work on this. But I'm not going to do a montage of this just because obviously it is personal <laughs> records and stuff. And um, for security reasons, it's not a good idea to do that. So uh, I'm going to work on this for the next few hours and then we will see what happens. <laughs> you say hey? Are you so happy? We're all so happy that you're all better now. You have got a piece of glitter on your cheek, son. I wonder where you picked that up from. Say, so there's always glitter everywhere when it's Christmas time, ain't there? It's hard to get it all up. You sparkle. Yay! So, I got most of the paperwork done, but it's not fully finished. And then I had to cook supper, and I just got done cleaning up the kitchen, and um, I have some bottles soaking in the sink, but it is eight o'clock. So we are going to get ready and go to bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. A lot different kind of vlog today, but this was just what our life was today. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye y'all. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play.